So this question starts off by providing us with these two equations here, 4x minus 6y equals 10y plus 2, and ty equals 1 half plus 2x. The first thing I notice is that this first equation can be simplified um, because I have like terms here, but I'm going to read the question before I do all that just to make sure I'm doing the right thing. So the question says, in the given system of equations, t is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of t? All right, so the hint here is that the system has no solution. In order for a system to have no solution, two things must happen. One, the variables must cross out, All right? So variables are going to be gone. So variables cross out. And two, whatever's remaining after you cross the variables out, right? So the numbers that remain, so remaining, is not true. It's not a true statement what you have left over. So um, I am going to simplify this first equation. That is the best thing to do here. So I'm going to take it to the top here where I have some more space. So I have 4x minus 6y equals 10y plus 2. I am going to get my y's on the left-hand side, kind of like what I have here for my second equation. So I'm going to subtract 10y from both sides. And I want my x's on the right-hand side, just like I have in the second equation. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And in doing so, the x's will cross out. Um, negative 6y plus 10y is negative 16y. The y's cross out. And then I'm going to have my plus, or equals, sorry. This would be an equal sign there. Equals 2 minus 4x. And I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so my first equation is now negative 16y equals 2 minus 4x. My bottom equation is ty equals 1 half plus 2x. Now here's where the understanding of no solution comes into play. I want to do something that causes my variables to cross out. How would I do that? Well, I know that for x, I could... You know, if I multiply the bottom equation by negative, I'm sorry, by positive 2, by positive 2, yeah, by positive 2, this would end up being 2ty equals 1 plus 4x. Why is that important to me? Well, because I can tell now that if I were to add these two equations together, my x's will cross out. Now, that's not the only variable I have, of course. I also want my y's to cross out, and that's where this t value comes into play. What would t need to be? What would t need to be in order for negative 16y added to positive 2ty to cross out? Well, we know that positive 2ty would need to equal a positive 16y because that's the only way that it would cross out a negative 16y. Well, how do I get that to happen? Well, I can divide both sides by 2y here to solve for t. And what I find is that t must be equal to 8. So if t were 8, that would make this bottom um, thing that I have circled here, this term, it would make that equal to positive 16y, which would then allow these two things to cross out. Now what's left over? I'd have 0 then on the left-hand side of my equation, and I'd still have 2 plus 1, which is 3, and that is the second part of this, which is the remaining is not true. 0 does not, in fact, equal 3. So when t equals 8 the variables cross out, and the remaining is not true. Therefore, when t equals 8, that's the t value that causes the system of equations to have no solution.